Yo, what's going on? Uh, it's Deron Studios, and in this in this tutorial, I'm gonna. <laughs> If I'm breathing heavy, it's because I just went and ran to get my fucking Chipotle, um, and then ran back to get this tutorial done in time. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so today I'm going to teach you how I did this uh, pixelation effect right here on these edges, uh, and this poster I did, and I did another poster with this, I don't remember what it was, but uh, this is the poster that got more traction, and I got some requests for how to do this, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So. Uh, I don't know why this isn't working. Hold on. Oh, oh I'll start the key kind of soon. Okay, cool. That should work out. All right, so the <laughs> this example is a little shit compared to uh, the, the poster, but I'm not going to be really recreating this. I'm just going to show you the process of getting that effect done. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, first things first, have your design ready, as as I said in the last tutorial. Um, just have you know it's probably it should probably be one color uh, but I'll show you how I did uh, add color to this but for, for this I start with you know just black on white background and if you're working on black background then white on black background uh, you know the deal so yeah have your design ready this is my <laughs> very very nice design and this is definitely not the same the exact same assets I use for uh, this poster but again this is not uh, to faithfully recreate this. I have my design right here um, actually I really want to add that shadow with I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, it's fun to know how to do that I'm just gonna show you real quick I just gotta I go to the elliptical marquee tool and I draw actually I'm gonna get an accurate shadow so I'm gonna put guidelines um, on the sphere right here so I can get the exact same um, sphere shape when I when I select it and I'm gonna create a new layer and fill that with black I'm gonna put that under the globe oh shit okay the globe is not filled in so this is going to like let's say when I actually create the shadow which is I just um, hold shift and, and drag this down to create an ellipse uh, the sphere is actually doesn't have any white in these areas so um, let me go ahead and do that. So if you're wondering how to do that, I'm going to show you as well. Um, <laughs> this wasn't meant to be shown in the tutorial, but I figure, I mean, if it helps anyone, might as well. So I'm just going to create a new layer, uh, just the background, and then merge it with the, with the globe layer. And then I'm going to select, uh, make sure contiguous is checked. Uh, basically, that's going to, let's say it's not checked, it's going to select all the white in the image. Uh, but when it is checked, um, it's only going to select the white. Uh, values that touch each other. So now I only have the background selected and all the white inside the globe is kept. So I'm just going to press delete. Uh, perfect. So now let's show the shadow it's under the globe, which is what we want. Um, and in this example, I think it's pretty, pretty large. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just make it sizable. Nice. Okay. Uh, by the way, to, to show and hide rulers, I just press control H. Actually, it's actually control. Uh, semicolon. I think either works. I don't know what the difference is, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so now I have all my assets in place. Let me go ahead and, and show these. Uh, bring this down. Alright, so now I'm going to do the actual pixelation effect. So you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it just for ease of this tutorial. I'm going to group all uh, my designs together and I'm going to merge it into one layer. So I just have this one color design. Actually, it's two colors. So let me get rid of this, this, this white here. It's in the globe. So I just have this one color design um, and a white background. I'm gonna go ahead and add a stroke to this just to make it a bit thicker, um, which is what I do for a lot of things. No, but again, it's, it's not a big deal. This is just personal preference. Uh, but the main, the main show is the pixelation. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh, so get your background layer, make sure it's behind your design layer or under your design layer. Um, and then you're going to want to put a adjustment layer, a threshold adjustment layer right above the design layer. Perfect. So 
you see it's already doing its job, it's thresholding, it's getting rid of all the um, whatever the grayish values like this here. Um, but we want to get the pixelated edges. What we're going to do, I'm going to rasterize this so the stroke um, is equivalent with the design. And we're going to go ahead and make this a smart object. Convert to smart object. And then filter, pixelate, and mosaic. Make sure that your, um, your threshold is above the design layer and that there's a background layer below the design layer. If there is no background, if it's just transparent, this is not going to work. But, okay, so once you have your mosaic uh, panel open, you can see we're already getting the pixel edges. And I think in the example, I had them pretty large. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and up the cell size here. So we're already getting that uh, effect pretty accurate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just play with this. I think 24, 24 works. So I render that. And this is not um, applied to the design really yet because what's happening is that we have the mosaic um, on the layer and then it's thresholding the threshold adjustment layer is thresholding all these gray values to either black or white. Uh, so to get that in one layer, I'm going to go ahead and group threshold, the design, and the background uh, into one group, duplicate it, and merge it. On the Photoshop slip. Here we go. So Perfect, now we have um, the pixelated edges and just a touch up I like to do is just like in last tutorial, I fucking love the stand filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to filter gallery and choose stamp and just play with the smoothness and what that's gonna do is smooth out around these corners on the pixelated edges and it just overall gives a really nice effect to your image. So I'm gonna go ahead and render that. Perfect. All right, so now, um, I mean, that's basically it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the um, photocopy and, and coloring here, but it, if that's all, if this is all you came for, then uh, I'm glad you learned something. Have a good one. <laughs> if you're staying, this is gonna be really quick. I'm just gonna show you how to do it, uh, how, how I did the coloring on this. So I'm um, just going to make sure, since the globe is white on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and isolate that. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this layer and what am I going to do? Um, <laughs> shut up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and click contiguous again and select the background and delete that. So now we have white in this globe, but we also have white, um, like I'll show you. Hold on. Um, in like these areas as well. Uh, so to get rid of that, I'm just going to uh, pretty much erase them or select and delete them like this. Oops, still on the elliptical. Yeah, there we go. That doesn't really matter that um, the, the black is going with it because I'm just going to merge. Um, I'm just going to keep this there so that I have these white values that are in the globe. Uh, the, this black, these black values don't matter at all because we're going to go to the original design and select all, make sure contiguous is not checked, select all the black, um, create a new layer and then fill that in with black. Um, so now we just have black design, the black of the design on whatever background we choose. Um, so now we can set this background as like red. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this it's like a melt orange, I don't know. There we go. Um, and then set the background as that color. Right, and then once we sh show this, we uh, we get all the white um, on this globe. Perfect, so now the only thing I'm missing is the photocopy texture, which is really easy. I showed you guys how to do it in the last tutorial. I'm gonna do it really quick right here. Just go ahead and get your photocopy texture. Um, where is it? Use this one. I think this is the one I used actually in the original. Duplicate, invert the bottom, set this one to lighten, set this one to darken, turn the opacity down on that one, um, mess with the levels on this one, and oh, there you go. Pretty quick, right? <laughs>
that is how I made this poster pretty much. Obviously I did some more messing around, but uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. So I hope you learned something and uh, stay tuned. I'll probably be posting another tutorial next week or something like that. I'm trying to you know, manage my time well, but I'm also a student, so I have a, a lot of shit to do, but I'll be sure to, to get some more tutorials out there. So and if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. I really need uh, I, you know, I have a list of my notes, but um, of course, I'd love to hear from the people themselves. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And see you in the next tutorial.